Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and it's been a couple of days since I've last uploaded here on the channel. There is an unfortunate reason behind that I'll talk about in just a moment. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some new teases and some new things looking forward to with Ahsoka Season 2. Not just that, but beyond that, with wherever else we could see Ahsoka, the characters a part of her Disney Plus series and show, actually appearing in the future of the Mandoverse. Whether that's the Mandalorian Season 4, the Book of Boba Fett Season 2, Star Wars Skeleton Crew, it almost feels like that there's endless possibilities at this point. We're going to go ahead, we're going to break it all down for you guys. Everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do, though, however, uh, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars-related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns around the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. So first things first, this video is more specifically of how Rosario Dawson, the Ahsoka star herself, Hayden Christensen is on a prequel kind of reprisal, having appeared in the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus show, making his return in the Ahsoka Disney Plus show with season one. There are now some new teases and some new talks of him returning once once again for Ahsoka Season 2 here as well. Not just that, but beyond that, saying that Hayden has now got the high ground. Before we discuss more about that, I haven't uploaded here in the last couple of days here on the channel. Unfortunately, the area that I live in here in the Detroit area was hit by our tornado where I live, and yeah, we lost power for the last four days, so yeah. Sorry about that and the lackluster of videos here on the channel. Power is now back. Nobody was hurt, really harmed, or anything of that uh, nature here in the area, of course, which we're all very thankful for. Anyway, let's talk about Star Wars here. In this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from HollywoodReporter.com themselves. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source. So actors often have the difficult task of meeting each other on the same day that their characters are supposed to convey a sense of history between one another. So that's precisely what makes the story of Ahsoka's Rosario Dawson and Hayden Christensen all the more special, because that isn't the case. They've known each other for quite some time. In the summer of 1995, the two budding teenage actors attended a drama school together at New York City's Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. So, Christensen was right there when Dawson's career was established by The Way of Harmony Corny and Larry Clark's Providef Indie Kids movie. Similar, in 2002, Rosario Dawson also caught up with Christensen in the middle of his Anakin Skywalker era with the prequel trilogy as they both filmed their respective roles on the set of Billy Ray's Shattered Glass movie. In 2004, the critically acclaimed biographical drama would go on to be nominated for Best Picture at the 19th Independent Spirit Awards, where the two friends would represent present an award and unknowingly take photos that would have a tremendous impact on their lives nearly 30 years later. The main image, of course, is of them at that event and it's kind of been recreated of like okay ahsoka and anakin skywalker based off the clone wars conveying that into live action pretty much rosario dawson recently revealed in a recent interview with the hollywood reporter themselves saying that in quote that was actually one of the photos that lucasfilm's dave filoni saw when he first imagined potentially casting me as ahsoka he was like how is that even possible dawson tells the hollywood reporter so to see us young together and really have this strange weird magical connective fortuitous history and connection to all of it at the same time it's definitely something that the fans have been very excited about who could have ever imagined this you can't make this stuff up you can't write it really ending that quote right there into the sense of what i had mentioned towards uh the beginning of this video of how usually the normal uh, thing for movies and tv shows is actors will meet on each other on the day of essentially when they're actually filming normally they won't have a rehearsal it's good to have a rehearsals of course but they don't always get that with busy and conflicting schedules, of course. However, uh, and, and then from there, of course, they're they're expected to convey this kind of connection that they've known each other for years on end, usually is what characters will convey, like on screen for their characters, the actors having met the day of, it makes it more difficult. However, it's more unique and special when it comes to Hayden Christensen and Rosario Dawson. The two have known each other for quite some time now. Dawson is referring to the fact that she and Christensen are able to use their shared history to take on this far more more complicated history between Ahsoka and Anakin within a galaxy far, far away as former Jedi Master and Jedi Padawan. Ahsoka in the Clone Wars animated show turned her back on Anakin and the Jedi Order after she was blamed for the crime that she didn't commit. The Order, realizing that the error that was made, reinstated her, but the damage was already done and Ahsoka went on her own separate way from there. However, Anakin would then proceed to become Darth Vader, of course, causing the untold death and destruction, and Ahsoka, ever since then, has particularly kind of blamed herself 
herself and her absence for what had transpired there. It isn't the direct source, but it is a leading cause for sure. And as depicted in The Mandalorian and the Ahsoka Disney Plus shows, this longtime burden caused her, her to resist the idea of training Grogu and Sabine and taking on another Padawan because she wouldn't want that responsibility. She wouldn't want that to happen to their kind of, uh, their, that, that Padawan essentially, out of fear of setting up those similar kind of downfalls essentially. So when Disney brought Lucasfilm in 2012 and had relaunched the film franchise with Star Wars The Force Awakens in 2015, the messaging at the time was all about capturing the spirit and aesthetic of George Lucas's original Star Wars trilogy. There was also a noticeable reluctance to embrace the Star Wars creators than the Vice prequel trilogy, but that slowly started to change, beginning with a rousing ovation that Christensen ex experienced at 2017's Star Wars Celebration. He then provided a voice cameo in the 2019's sequel trilogy, Capper, The Rise of Skywalker, before December 2020's announcement that he would be returning and reuniting with Ewan McGregor with Deborah Chow's directed limited series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, on Disney+. Plus. As a whole, the Star Wars prequel trilogy wasn't well received, of course, at the time of each film's theatrical release. Though, the trilogy Capper, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, earned mixed positive reviews and was widely considered to be the highlight of those three films. Unfortunately, pop culture also wasn't too kind of the trilogy at the time, and several other key factors involved had to endure extreme amounts of flack for their work. You'll even hear those pot shots and jokes and comedies and other works that came out in the wake of the prequels as well. So, aside from all this, let's cut to the chase here. What is kind of that leading key factor for us to kind of anticipate to have Christensen back here as Anakin for Ahsoka Season 2? I'll talk about more of this in a separate future video here on the channel, but the kind of guts and glory of it is essentially in this same Hollywood Reporter interview of where Hayden and Rosario are and, um, talking together. Hayden, Rosario mentioned earlier that you don't know anything about Season 2 too, but you do expect more mystical hangouts in your future within a galaxy far, far away. Why? Which Christensen replies with, I don't know necessarily. It would certainly be a lot of fun, but I don't know. We'll see what Dave's cooking up. Rosario Dawson replies with, in episode 7 of Ahsoka, there's a couple of other Anakin training holograms cassettes, so to speak, and you see him as a force ghost in the end. So there's room, as people are giving me looks off camera. Ending that quote right there, not wanting to reveal too much, of course, of what is in store for Ahsoka Season 2 thus far, it is one of those situations where they're not able to reveal necessarily anything to uh, really uh, anything here, <laughs> I guess, uh, for Ahsoka Season 2 and with what it may have in store. But it definitely seems that those talks are there. As I had mentioned, I want to talk about more of this in a separate future video, guys, here. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been unofficial Star Wars. I'll get you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.